Hi, Mr. Ferrari. It's Aussie Villain. Good, mate. Good. Uh, look, I'd like to upgrade our CFD simulator. It's level one currently. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. Uh, 10 million. Well, you know, don't think of what it costs. Think of what it brings. Well, I don't know what it does. It simulates CFD, I assume. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Dillon and welcome back to Forza Ferrari. Today we have the Hungarian Grand Prix, but we will start at Maranello because we are upgrading our CFD simulator. Uh, we had 26 money in the bank. It was something I wanted to do because it was the only thing that was, uh, everything else was at level 2, it was at level 1. And uh, it just, it seems like something that's going to be good to do. I don't actually know what it, well, it says there what it does. Uh, simulates airflow over aerodynamic parts. So I mean that seems like something you'd want to do, doesn't it? I don't see how it's different to a wind tunnel, to be honest. That's what a wind tunnel did. But anyway, um, it's there. It'll, it'll help us improve our developments on the car, and that can only be a good thing. This, actually, is a lot lower than I thought it was going to be with Ferrari. I thought their facilities would be a lot higher. Um, so, yeah, we are going to need to go through and, and start to... Uh, yeah, start to upgrade these things to make sure that we, uh, that, you know, we're going to be able to keep up and overtake the likes of Red Bull, Aston Martin, Mercedes, and, and those guys. Uh, I wonder if anybody's played as them. How do their facilities rate? I wonder. I, you, you kind of imagine Red Bull. I, th I thought, I said, I thought Ferrari would be right up there. I, I, Red Bull must be like three or four level more than me, and everything to be as good as they are. Aston Martin's just upgraded everything in real life. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to know if you uh, if you do have knowledge of that. But uh, as a quick reminder, we currently sit third in the constructors. We uh, sort of. I don't know, would you say neck and neck with Aston Martin right now? Some races there are a little bit better, some races were a little bit better, but we're roughly at their level. We seem to be just edging away from Mercedes, and everybody else is uh, is well behind us. In the drivers, Mick and, uh, and Gio, they're roughly even, though Giovinazzi lost two races uh, due to being taken out by other drivers. So, realistically, I think Giovinazzi is a lot closer to sort of third and fourth in the championship, and Mick is probably roughly where he uh, where he deserves to be. Uh, now, in terms of uh, of the oh, in terms of the car, we do have we just finished a, uh, a side pod development. It's like literally day of the of uh, of the race or a pre, pre practice one anyway, so we're not going to be able to um, to get that on the car after the winter break or summer break, I should say. Sorry, that will be on the car, so that's something that we can definitely uh, work towards and look forward to having. So, and we should have uh, a uh, a front wing as well ready to go after the summer break. So that's the plan anyway. Side pods and uh, and front wing, and then we probably start to look towards next season. We'll have to we'll have to see how the drivers' championships going. The thing is, we need to make sure that uh, that we have a job next year. So it may well be we need to just keep developing all the way through to the end of the season to, to try and catch and overtake uh, Aston Martin. Oh, the other thing I've got to catch you up on is the regulation vote. We will be getting more engines and gearboxes and all that stuff next year. Unsurprisingly, turkeys voted against Christmas or voted uh, for Christmas. So turkey farmers voted for Christmas. So, um yeah, it, it, it just made sense. Too many penalties. Uh, and you think of uh, like, like the Giovinazzi, who's got penalty, you know, had to take essentially two penalties for getting hit by somebody else. There's, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, um, I actually like the rule in real life, though. It just uh, jumbles things up a little bit. So we will try and reach Q3. One car in the top four is what the, uh, what the board want there. Finishing position of fourth. Do we want to go for fastest lap? It's, uh, there's more risk than reward there, uh, reward than risk there, I think. And we need two cars in the top six for qualifying, one car in the top six for the race, and we'll get ourselves some nice bonus money there as well. So let's have a look at the track. We probably should have done that first. It's uh, the uh, alternative tyre allocation qualifying weekend, so it means you have to qualify on a hard, then a medium, then a soft. So I'll have to uh, make sure I do that properly for free practice and what tyres we're using. Uh, qualifying purposes, the uh, you can see the, uh, the sectors there, red sector one, blue sector two, yellow sector three. It's a go-kart track, so uh, not much uh, by way of fast corners. A lot of medium and low speed corners. Car attributes, low and medium speed corners is what you need. Time considerations there. Um, not the longest in terms of a time to a pit stop. Safety car saves you a little bit, but not a great deal. Four or five seconds. Uh, it's not a great deal, is it? Uh, it's going to be a two-stop, it looks like. It's just the best way to go about that two-stop. And the compound performance. The soft tire is... Uh, it degrades quicker... Not dramatically quicker than the medium, and it is about not that much quicker than the hard. So the medium tyre might well be the tyre you want to be on in the race, actually. Uh, previous race, it's our first season. Historic results, Verstappen, Ocon, Hamilton, Hamilton. So a bit of a mixed bag there. And uh, yeah, let's head off to Hungary. So, oh, it's going to be a heavy rain race. Well, we don't have to worry about saving tyres then, do we? Um, 
that's going to jumble things up, isn't it? Didn't notice that till just now. All right, do free practice. I'll see you for qualifying. All right, we have done free practice, and I think it went okay, to be honest. FP1, I forgot to put Mini in the car, didn't I? Anyway, uh, we were just trying to save tyres, so we were out on the hard tyre the entire session, 12th and 13th, on old with old engines as well. That actually was pretty good, I thought, to be ahead of uh, so many cars. Uh, FP2, soft tyres, uh, we were 7th and 8th, which is nice. And then FP3, again, just trying to save some tyres, and we're 7th and 10th. And uh, so we've got two sets of soft tyres fresh. We can either save one for the race uh, or we can use both in qualifying, which is good. So FP1 is on a hard tyre. Shouldn't be a problem. I've just got to replace the car parts. You can see how old what we were using is. And uh, yeah, like I say, we shouldn't have any problem getting through FP1, uh, qualifying one, sorry. So indeed, no problem at all. Sixth and ninth. We did end up going out for a second round, but you only have the one set of tyres. So um, yeah, that was absolutely fine. Cars missing out. No major shocks there, I wouldn't have thought. So on to Q2, the medium tyre. All right, we are currently fifth and sixth. Now we've got to use the same medium tyres. Uh, fifth is uh, Mick. He's, he's, to be honest, safe. Uh, we're just doing a run because why not? Uh, it's not like, you know, we're not saving a set of tyres by not going out. Giovinazzi, however, is half a second off his pace and not going any faster. We've seen this before for it, hasn't he? He's not the best in qualifying, Giovinazzi. Always seems to come through in the race for us. Mick's uh, done a better first sector. Uh, but Magnussen has just popped himself ahead of uh, Giovinazzi. He's done a green second sector, so maybe he's going to come better towards the end of the lap. Uh, but we certainly need him to. I think he's going to be safe anyway. But he'd like to see him a little bit closer to Mick, and he is closer to Mick now, and he'll be through as well. Fourth and fourth for Mick. Go on. So fairly comfortable, which is uh, which is always nice. Uh, so let's go to Q3 now and the soft tyres. All right, we are coming around for our second lap. Now, first run was done on new uh, new soft tyres, which we don't usually do. Fourth for Giovinazzi, only eighth for Schumacher. Now there was, I think it was uh, Russell. In the, in the Mercedes that was sort of on an outlap when we were doing our fast laps. I suspect that Mick may have been held up by him. Both guys have gone faster though, which is good. Since the update too, the rubbering in, it actually makes a difference um, if you go out later. So uh, we've got to really make sure we are coming out for second runs uh, all the time really just to be safe. So Because the track does, uh, does ramp up. Not a better middle sector for Geo though. Now he is in front of us, so he's going to come around first and finish his lap. Is he going to go any faster? marginally Mick goes fourth fourth and fifth now can we hold that uh, where's Alonso what sort of lap time is he gonna do here I wonder uh, we've got Alonso here stroll is already in front of us it's Alonso that we've got to watch for and Alonso is in the pits so fourth and fifth ahead of Fernando Alonso just behind uh, Lance Stroll that battle for second is on isn't it so heavy rain which is not really what we wanted to see when are we expecting this rain um, Let's go to track graph. So it's going to be very heavy, probably going to Inters at the end, uh, potentially. So we need to get to there, don't we? Actually, the soft tire, the soft tire may or may not. I think you've got to do a medium to make sure you get to the rain, even if it means you're able to push it a little bit more. No, you can't really do that. Uh, actually, the soft tire doesn't really get you there either, does it? You're going to need to start on a hard, it looks like. Or could you eke out a medium? We've seen this before, haven't we, where I think I'd rather be on a hard tyre and be able to push it if if we need to and make sure that we get there. Because that's ultimately what it's going to come down to, isn't it? Just making sure that you're able to get there and then it might be that we need an inter-tyre towards the end. Uh, let's just go forward with that. So potentially... That's going to be see it, see how it is when we get there, isn't it? So there we go. That appears to be the strategy. Probably don't want to push a wet tire too much, but we can certainly push a little bit. Uh, we'll do the same with both cars, and hopefully, I feel like other cars are going to go on a medium to start. But I just, I'd rather make sure we get there than than risk it. I think. All right, welcome back. Second and third rows of the grid. Let's see what we can do here. There is a lot of medium tires. There's some soft tires there as well, which seems absolutely ludicrous. Um, there's no way a soft tire is getting... It was very close, wasn't it? There's no way a soft tire is getting to the rain. Multiple uh, cars have like crashed. We can see both our cars. Russell's got a penalty. Now, hasn't taken ahead of Lonzo. Um, oh, what happened there? Mick? Mick, what, what did he do? Is he out? 
I don't know what just happened. You you just All stuffed right. up, Mick. You spun under a safety car. Yellow I flag think. ahead. Yellow flags ahead. Are we under a safety car? Oh, Mick, you moron. 15 positions. That is unbelievable. Just what we didn't need, too, with the Aston Martin droid up there. Oh, you can see we're burning extra petrol. That is uh, because it's going to rain, so we're going to naturally save petrol. And I'm not smart enough to figure out how, how much we need to save and, and back it off and not fully fuel the, fuel the tank. So, um, yeah. So Alonso and Russell have knackered their tyres. So Alonso was involved. On a soft tyre, they're definitely going to have to stop. Um, and, yeah. I can't believe Mick's done that. Uh, we're already a little bit of an island here, aren't we? We do have... Uh, Alonso behind us, but you'd expect that on a soft tyre. In a way, we can just, you know, not necessarily pay that much attention to him, because they're both the Aston Martins are on a soft tyre. I don't see how that strategy works, but maybe that's because I'm not the smartest, I don't know. But anyway, um, this race is going to be decided when the rain gets here. DRS is enabled. I suspect that Alonso is going to come steaming past this, but honestly, I think that's okay, because... Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's going to have to stop DRS. more than we are, so surely, surely they're not going to make up enough time. And there we go, Alonso has uh, on lap 5 just come into the pits. Uh, Giovinazzi is definitely holding up cars, but uh, Alonso's got out in front of Mick, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, someone else, Russell's just come in there. Now Alonso has gone on to a medium. So what they've done there is the, is the medium isn't going to get there, isn't it? So they've They've got onto a soft and a medium to try and get to the rain. I suspect that's what they're doing, as we're just trying to to get there without a stop. Um, time is obviously going to tell what is the better strategy here. Uh, I mean, if Mick hadn't spun, he would have been well ahead of Alonso. So he's kind of, yeah, knackered his own race, hasn't he? But uh, let's see what Geo can do. He's fifth, sixth. Okay, so we've just had a virtual safety car, which has literally just ended there. Uh, so that's enabled us to, to uh, save a little bit of tyres. Now, rain is expected to start in about three minutes. So I think what we can probably do with that is, is put our tyre use up to aggressive. Um, the safety car has maybe hurt us a little bit, because what it's done, or the virtual safety car, I should say, is it's allowed the medium tyred runners to save a little bit more of their petrol. And how are these soft tyre runners still going? Magnus hasn't stopped yet, neither has Ocon or Stroll. So that's that's a bit frustrating if they're gonna be are gonna be able to get them there. But of course, just because it starts raining doesn't mean it's instantly ready for a wet tire. Never mind um you're actually going onto a wet tire, you know, because you could go onto an inter, but we know or we very much suspect it's going to be a downpour since the forecast was heavy rain. That if an inter tire is not gonna do it, you're gonna want to go onto a wet tire, so you're gonna want to push it on the slick, I would imagine anyway, as long as you can. To, uh, to then try and get the best out of the, or not lose too much time when you're on a wet tyre when the track's actually fit for inters. So we're definitely catching K-Mag here though. His tyres uh, are gone. Our tyres aren't too bad. Mick is uh, down there in 17th. Uh, Alonso was already ahead of him. Russell though has got past him as well. So, oh, someone's gone a bit wide there. Can we take advantage of that? Not quite. It's Bottas that's in front of us. Uh, we might try and help ourselves past him here if we uh, we'll get a bit of deploy going. And uh, we did harvest a bit, and the rain is starting. So this is going to be interesting now. Let me just get past him, please. Gee, if Nazi's just got past Kevin Magnuson as well, I'm assuming that was down that straight under uh, under DRS. So this is where the race starts to come back to us. Let's hope that uh, the rain is coming down fairly quickly. I wonder if it's going to be a good time to stop, given that Mick is that much further back around the lap. If we could bring him in this lap, or if it's going to, that's going to be a bit too soon. Remember, we need to go into a wet tyre, of course. Uh, it's a bit too soon, isn't it? A bit too soon. Someone's coming in there. So these are the soft tyre runners, I think, bailing. Uh, so we'll go back on board with Giovinazzi. And I think this is the lap, isn't it? By the time we get around there... We're going to want to be onto a wet tyre. So uh, we'll do that with both cars. And hopefully we get some good Ferrari pit stops here. They're coming out on Inters. Inters aren't... I mean, it depends how long it stays in, in Inter condition, I suppose. But 
if it, the forecast is heavy rain, heavy rain means wet tyres. It doesn't mean inters. That's always been the way in this game. So if the, if the update has changed something, I will be uh, slightly annoyed. But we're coming in just as the track goes to, uh, to damp. And we are, in theory, putting on the wrong tyre here. Please be a good stop. Tyre off, tyre on. Not too bad. We'll take it. And uh, Stroll is put on an inter as well. So this is either going to be genius or idiotic. Um, there's an argument to say I should have split the strategies. But as I said before, I always feel like if you split the strategies, a little bit slow the Schumacher stop, it just it guarantees that one car's wrong. Uh, that's always been my thing against doing it, but... You know, maybe maybe it's better to be safe than sorry on that front, but here we go. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. The Red Bulls are both coming in, and they're double stacking. That's annoying, so the uh, the AI double stacks now. <laughs> That's uh, new with the update, isn't it? So Schumacher is going backwards behind Ricardo, who's on the right tyre. But again, we, we know that we're on the wrong tyre right now, so we've got to bear that in mind. Now, let's see exactly. Maybe this should have been a deploy lap, actually, for Giovinazzi, but I think we're better off saving that. Magnus has a pit stop issue. So they're, they're coming in for wet tyres now. So, yeah, we, it was definitely the right thing to do. Everybody's done the same thing eventually. Um, and Mick is going to go very, very close to Hulk, who's also now on a wet tyre. So the inter runners have stuffed up. So we'll be going ahead of all of them. But we have been jumped by Hamilton in those stops. So that's that's a little frustrating, to be honest. And there goes, don't worry about Lando, because he's on the wrong tyre. This is his time to shine, but uh, that's not going to work out for him long term. Um, pushing the tyres is only just going to allow us to get there. Let's do it anyway. Okay, so the track has just gone to wet, so Lando's on the wrong stop. Now, the inter stop did work out for Stroll, because he was able to push on the inter, get the gap, make the stop, and still come out in third. So, there was, if you had the sort of the right track position, you were, it was able to be done. We need to get past Lando here, we don't need to be held up. Let's deploy, if we can, past him. Please, Geo. We don't need this, this is not what we need. I'm a little bit nervous about our tyre usage here. What's happened to Geo? Um, yeah, we've stuffed this up because we've pushed the tyres too hard on a track that wasn't ready for them. Huh. That's new. That's definitely new since the update as well. So we're learning here as we go. Um. Yeah. Probably should have been paying closer attention to the tyre wear, shouldn't I? So do we just keep going with this now? Let's see what. Let's see how that sort of levels out. Um, but yeah, we uh, we have burnt through quite a bit of tire there. All right, I've just got the race paused here. We're gonna have to admit our mistake. Or I'm gonna have to admit my mistake. We've got Giovinazzi here right now. He's got two cars right behind him. But we'll see. There's a big gap going back there till we get to uh, Alonso, who's currently stuck behind. Alban in the Williams. What I'm thinking is that if we if we just go full push, admit the mistake, try and uh, just get that gap as big as possible, come back out into eighth, we'll have fresher tyres to then try and close the gap down again. Um, Mick is uh, the 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 the, the tyre does last, so I think he'll be okay on that trajectory. Um, and then we were kind of expecting it to uh, to start drying up a little bit later on in the race anyway. But uh, yeah, it's definitely just uh, that's something that's just changed in the, since the update, and that is uh, that is completely on me. Didn't realize that that was a thing. In fact, uh, mixed tires are going cold now, which is not ideal. Um, so yeah, it's a definitely. I mean, it's good. It, it's more tricky. It adds another element to the game. But I just wasn't aware that it was going to quite do that to us. But uh, anyway, we'll see if we can. Alonso's got past Albin now, so yeah. All right, we're going to have to admit the mistake with Mick as well. Again, I've just got to pause. I'm just trying to figure out what we need to do here. So Giovinazzi's pulled out a nice little gap on uh, Gasly and to Magnussen behind him. So that's good. We're only just half, wait, half race distance. And we're going to get to lap 60 before. That's when we're expecting uh, to go to an inter. So I don't think Mick's going to quite get there. So we're just going to have to go full beans and uh, and see what we can do. I mean, Mick obviously is just is racing back from his silly spin on the first lap there. So... 
Uh, he's kind of got no one to blame but himself, but... Yeah, I mean, in terms of the actual messing up of the strategy, that was that was me. There's, uh, <laughs> I can try, but I'm not going to be able to explain that one away. Alonso is sort of, he's matching, even going a little bit quicker than Giovinazzi, even though he's not done it that lap, even though we are uh, really pushing. I think he might be wise to what we're trying to do. But, um, yeah, and we'll see if Mick can get make quick work here of Norris and Albon, because he's going to need to do that. He's going to go a lap. Look at Verstappen. He's absolutely flying again. Um, the Red Bull is just a bit of a cheat code, isn't it? Unbelievable how quick they are. Uh, boxer slow. All right, so we are coming in. We're stuck Box. behind Albon, so we're coming in with, uh, with Mick here. Uh, and then we should be able to just keep pushing the tyres. It's so close, isn't it? There's only like 11 laps till we're expecting an Inter. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we would have got there. Um, but he's not lost out too badly there. And then Giovinazzi will come in this lap. We're not going to make it now. We've absolutely knackered the tyres going for it. So um, it was one of those things I think we had to commit to it one way or another. And yeah, I, I, I don't think it was going to work out. Uh, we've done a fairly decent stop there. Now, the key here is if we can get out ahead of Alonso. Because uh, Alonso is obviously in the Aston Martin. We want to be ahead of him just because of that fact. Uh, but also, we should be able to pass these other cars. Alonso, maybe not so much. But look at that. We did manage to just just get out of a lot ahead of Alonso. Stay in P8. And now we can, uh, we can try and track him down. Mick is down there in P13. So, we, again, we haven't lost out too badly there. If we can absolutely send it for 10 laps, go in, put on an Into, and maybe perhaps others don't, maybe we can still get some uh, decent points from this race. All right, so we've got Giovinazzi currently behind K-Mag. And this needs to get done quickly. We are deploying to try and get it done quickly, but it's not happened yet because we've got Alonso right behind us. If we can get past uh, Magnuson and then leave Alonso a little bit uh, sort of stuck behind him, that obviously works out very nicely for us. Can we send it there? It's a bit difficult. Um, yeah, there's not really anywhere to do it through here. Maybe if we can get a good exit out of this corner, can we send it down the inside late on the brakes? That's a good overtake, Geo. A really, really good overtake. All right. And hopefully... Alonso didn't just follow us through. We're out of Urs, but that's uh, that's okay. not too bad because it got us the move done. Now we need to just go and get Pierre Gasly as well. Mick, if we're wondering, down there in 13th. Three seconds a lap faster than Hulkenberg in front. So, if we can put in these sorts of lap times, uh, it's still raining. We're still well, well away from going to an Inter. So... Yeah, and I think what we're seeing here as well, this is, this is fresh... Hard, uh, fresh hard, fresh wet versus old fresh, old wet. Um, if it does go to Inter and people are staying out on old wets, on, on you know when it's too dry for them, we definitely want to come in, don't we? I think if we if we learn nothing else from this, then it's got to be that. Can we go and get past Gasly now? And then we're back to where we were. We can work on the twenty odd seconds we've got to try and get uh, to Hamilton. We'll go deploy. We're going to get a recharge into this corner. Now we want to try and send it out of it if we can. And get the move done on Pierre. Can we get it down the inside? Go on, Gasly. Not quite. Didn't let us through. And have we made contact? He's got a penalty, I think. Uh, I don't think we've got damage, though. But Gasly is taking a penalty for that. And rightly so. He didn't leave us any room. Uh, it doesn't mean we're past him yet, though, of course. We're jagging around all over the place. What are you doing, Gio? What are you doing, mate? Anyway. We've still got to get the move done. Why are we driving the car so erratically? It just says it doesn't say we have any damage. Alright, so the track conditions have changed to damp. Uh, that's enough for me. We're stuck behind Gasly here anyway. Let's come straight in. Let's jump on this tyre. And I think anybody who doesn't do this is just going to be an absolute sitting duck for the rest of the race. So uh, I've seen enough of what we could do on a new wet versus, as I said before, versus uh, old wet. I think being on the Inter is going to be an absolute, uh, an absolute godsend. If you're not on the Inter, then you might as well not be in the race. So... Nice stop, 2.5 seconds, we'll take that. 
and we're going to come out still in eighth, are we? And Mick's coming in now. Let's see what he can do. He's coming in behind Norris. Can we get a nice quick stop and then make the McLaren wait for us? 2.8. Oh, not quite. Not quite. So there's absolutely no question about the Inter making the end. Um, yeah, everybody's coming in. So if we've got deploy, actually, we probably want to use it this lap and try and make up, you know, while everybody else is on the wrong tyre out here. Make up as many places as we can. we yet got to get past there. We do. Alonso, Gasly are both in the pits. Uh, Gasly's got a penalty. So we, that should be uh, easy pickings for us. Alonso, though. Have we got the better of him as well? Yes, we have. So we're back up to sixth. It looks like we're a lap down. That looks like a Red Bull in front of us. And I'm assuming everybody there, the Red Bulls are still on a wet tyre. So when they come in, we'll get that lap back. And Mick, is he going to, he might race back to the points here, you know, which wouldn't be a terror. I mean, considering he's had to make an extra stop, course of me, um, that wouldn't be a terrible, uh, terrible race for him. How is Gasly still ahead of Alonso? With a five second penalty as well. Anyway. All right, we have been stuck behind Norris for a few laps here to get back into the points with Mick. We've been saving up, uh, harvesting our battery a little bit. Now we go for it, and please, can we get this done? We're not going to get any further up than this. It's going to be 10th, and uh, that's about it for Mick, but he's got to get past. He's so much quicker than him. As soon as we went off harvest, he closed in, you know, it was like a second uh, in that lap. So we went back to neutral. Is he going to be able to get a move done? You've got to be brave around the outside there. We're just going to keep deploying him and just try and, if nothing else, drain Norris's battery so he can't defend with it. Uh, because we're quicker. Well, you can see here we're, we're, we're quicker. Uh, we're just going to be a little bit careful on the petrol front. Giovinazzi is, for the most laps, he's going quicker than Hamilton. Uh, he's just not quick enough uh, that Hamilton to be able to close in the gap that was there. So that comes down to, that. Hit, that's on me. Uh, we've lost out to Hamilton there because of uh, what I've done, and probably Ocon as well. How's Ocon running fourth in this race? Uh, fifth now as Hamilton gets past him. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We've still got a few laps to go here, but Norris is proving very, very difficult for Mick to get past. So, uh, yeah, we'll come back if there is an overtake. Hopefully there'll be an overtake. It'd be a shame for Mick to not score anything from this. Oh, Mick, has he done it? Has he done it? He has. We just moved him to uh, aggressive overtakes. And he has gone and finally put the move on Lando Norris. Let's go and have another look at it. It was a good one. Into the chicane. Just stuck his nose in there. He had to give him space inside. Show him some curb. And that was that. He was the faster car. Finally. Back into the points for Mick. So, Max Verstappen has won the race. Mick Schumacher, a lap down, is about to come across and finish 10th from last on the first lap. That's not a terrible recovery drive. Giovinazzi was almost, almost lapped. He was, he was the last car to start the actual last lap of the race. And he is going to come across and finish 6th. Now, with Lance Stroll in 3rd, and, uh, and we've got... Alonso in ninth. I think we are definitely going to have been outscored by Aston Martin here. We've outscored Mercedes, though, I think. So credit to, uh, yeah, to Hamilton and uh, Ocon. They moved up quite a bit. Uh, Giovinazzi dropped one spot. Mick dropped six. Uh, we made three stops, though. So, yeah, uh, I've learned. I've learned a lesson, and, you know, this, I can't. I can't look down too badly on myself. It's just the update changed the way that the tyres work, apparently. So Giovinazzi stays fifth. Mick drops down one. He's now one point behind Hamilton. And if we look at the constructors, uh, we have lost out, yeah, quite a bit there. Actually, we didn't outscore Mercedes either. So um, not a great race, that one, for us, it has to be said. We will bounce back next time, I'm sure. And next time is the Belgian Grand Prix in four days' time. It'll be the last race before the summer break. And, uh, yeah, well, hopefully we won't have rain. And if we do, I won't push wet tires on into track. If you've enjoyed that, guys, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time for Belgium. Take care.